Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb and you're very, very welcome. Right, today we've got a map which is top of the workshop. That's correct, the top performing map at the moment as it's Monday. And as a creator, we have done no less, no fewer, no fewer than 12 times in the past. So maybe it's lucky number 13. Will lucky number 13 be an all-star map? Have they got any previous? Well... Of those 12 previous maps, there were three middly ones, nine stars, nothing wrong with nine stars. Uh, we've got a number of 11 stars, a couple of 12s, and if you look back to episode 954, you'll see a 13 star map, and 833, you'll see a 14 star map. Also, if you go back to 821, you'll see the first map we ever did of this. It was also the very first map of 2020. Who knew that we'd have such an affair? And who knew the Bomb Bomb Bingo was still going? I did. Link is in the description. Check off the memes as you go. It's just for fun. And also, just for fun, the daily reminder. That's right, clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Banequa by Random5. Uh, Random5 has actually informed me <laughs> how to pronounce that because I think I was going to go with Banik or Banik maybe. But yeah, Banequa apparently. There's your start square. Looks pretty decent to me. Any problems with it? We will find out when we get down there. The terrain heights are perfectly lovely. Um, it's uh, like Bonbon Island except for it's split, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Cut in the half and move either side. We've got strong resources if you want some strong resources, so no complaints there. And if you've got Sunset Harbour and you want to do some fishing, we've got most of the little fishies. It's an interesting map. I'd say that is very playable. We're quite happy with that. Off to the workshop. Well, what do we need? Well, no DLC is required today. We have got a short list of requirements, a one-click collection, no less, including the Eclaira map theme and a Nemesis LUT as well. A few trees and um, surface rocks, that sort of thing as well. Shall we have a look at that? Shall we have a look at that? Yeah. There are some settings as well. Um, uh, yes, there are some settings, which I've just remembered <laughs> I've got to set for the flyover. for the re So the relight settings are going to be slightly wrong. I apologise to Random5 right now. It still looks very strong, okay? Um, I did actually have the relight settings. Shall we go down the ground level? I did actually have the relight settings set correctly. And then I had to restart the game. And I... Yeah, I had to reset the relight settings. And I forgot that one. But yes, uh, I had to restart. There was... um. A problem. I don't know anybody, anybody else, but um, I think the more mods, etc., you add to these things, the more likely it is just to go blimp at any time. And yes, it, it went blimp on me. And so, yeah, uh, I apologize. So, the relight settings, it'll, it just gives it a slightly richer tone. It's, 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 it's a, it looks good. I'm not going to mark it down. T today's, today's aesthetics, they're, they're strong. And they're slightly differently strong <laughs> with the relight settings. So, yes, uh, my apologies there for that one. But it's uh, if you want to see it in its full glory, there are screenshots on the workshop. Or just load up the map. Remember, if you load up the map, click like when you do so. And do that with any map. And then if it turns out you don't like the map, then you can always take the like away. You can. If you really don't like it that much, you can give it a thumbs down. If you really don't. But yeah, when you subscribe, hit the like button for that map as well. Uh, oh, first of our intersections coming up here, which is it's nice. Okay, all the standards, all the standards are good, well, very good. I, I take back good. I take back good. All the standards are very good on today's map. There's nothing wrong with it at all. You're not going to be seeing anything. Well, maybe you will. Maybe you will see something. I didn't see anything that I would have to ordinarily mark the map down on. I think there's even a little Easter egg thrown in there for me and for the Bomb Bomb Bingo players. So, <laughs> so watch out for that one. Yeah, that's that was interesting to say the least. I'd very nearly missed it as well. I was so entrenched into all the exciting bits about it. I mean, I mean look at these little bits of um, elevated wall sections here. That's different. It's nice. It's pleasing. 
uh, it's it's nice. It's and it's done to a high standard. All all of those things are in there. So there is that. I think this is the Start Square intersection. I've lost count. I did think I did know that the third one of these style of intersections was the one where we had to go and have a look at the Start Square. Unfortunately, I completely forgot to peel off and have a. Or maybe it's this one. Ah, there you go. It's this one. This is your Start Square intersection. But we won't be peeling off because somebody, i.e. me, forgot to... Uh, well, oh, I didn't forget. I lost count. Okay? Now, there was a slightly clipping through uh, pillar there. But again, that is within tolerance of the game. They could have possibly built a pillar at that point on that intersection. So, again, that's not really something that I can judge on. It's it's perfectly acceptable. And all these little bridges are perfectly lovely as well. I, I love these little very subtle bridge type affairs. And again, all 100% vanilla work as well. No custom assets required. Um, it's, well, I say vanilla work. I'm sure, I'm sure it wasn't done completely vanilla. Things like the Move It mod were absolutely definitely used for these high standards. But you know what? Uh, in terms of subscriptions, you don't need anything. Loading up the map, you don't need anything for those things. There are, like I say, there are some custom trees, some, lots of custom trees on the map, and a few custom rocks as well. But the whole thing does aesthetically benefit from it. I mean, we're talking a very pleasing looking map. My big problem, of course, and it's, it's a problem with me, and I think with my color vision as such, is the Clara theme. Let's nip over the other side of the island. Uh, the, the road and rail run simultaneously, so we'll just skim up. We're, we'll go a bit faster over this side of the island and get straight to that intermission. But yeah, the um, the Clara theme, I, I don't know, I find it very, very rich. And my, I just, I struggle with it a little bit. I mean, I love the textures, I love, I love the colours, but do you know when something's just a little bit too much for you? I find I find that probably overwhelms my senses a little bit. So um, yeah, I'm going to try not to show any bias on that one. But uh, on a personal level, it's not really for me. On on a personal level, but yes, it is. Uh, God, I mean the texture. I think if we could just tone those textures down, maybe, maybe. Anyway. Um, off to the edge of the map now, which means it's going to be time for an intermission. We'll come back and check for shipping and water flow right after this. For three, two, one. Everybody's favorite factory is everywhere these days. Look, there's even one on the back of this hoodie. Want one for yourself? Then click the information button now. Come on, you know you want to. And so back to Benequa by Random5 and the shipping routes. And the shipping routes are perfect. I'm as simple as that. We That one goes all the way down one side of this. Um, they're not really islands, but you know what I mean. Uh, then we have a crossroads with all of the shipping triangles that you require there. We actually have an underpass in place for if you want to link up both sides of the strait there, which I'm sure you will. And then we have another one of these shipping triangles here, which allows you access into the bay there and the bay over the other side. And then we come over to the other side of the, um, of the, what are these? I, they're not really islands, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and this one runs all the way down the length on the other side. Basically, absolutely what you want. Water flow, if you're looking for a lot of strong water flow in the start square area, there isn't really. Uh, if you come out a little bit, there is, but then you are edging out the start square. So you may need to use a little bit of creativity or custom assets, whichever. Anyway, my biggest aesthetic grumble is look how non-centered this is. There's an awful lot of ocean at the bottom and not a lot of ocean at the top. It's a minor gribble. <laughs> it's a minor gribble in terms of overall design. But I do like the overall look of this. Look at that. Just loving the, the shape of the terrain here. Uh, you've got all the buildable space around the outside of the hills. And um, it's kind of Bonbon-esque. Bonbon Island-esque in its kind of um, playability, I would suggest. Now, here's that bit of trolling I think we've got here. <laughs> it's uh, the essential lighthouse and rocking and holding. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this has just been popped in here just to troll me. 
uh, is tucked in on the blind side of the island. You, very few people are going to see it playing a, a standard game. So yes, uh, thanks for that random. <laughs> it's very random indeed. <laughs> Uh, we've got this little um, inlet. I was going to call it a lake. It is more of an inlet. Uh, and that's aesthetically very pleasing as well. And there's a lot of aesthetically very pleasing points. Like over here, we have this um, this peninsula, rocky peninsula with the old sand. Looks like at low tide, sorry, at high tide, it would become a bit stranded. Parked cars where people have parked and then, well, died because the cars got all rusty. Maybe they got washed out to sea on one of these sunbeds while they were asleep. And sort of sunbeds a deck chair, but you know what I'm you know where I'm trying to come from here, don't you? <laughs> anyway, this is all very nice. And the whole of the island is filled with lovely little areas like this. And they're lovely. Like uh, and also the rock work as well, the custom rock work, I feel works really very well indeed. And in fact, the asset of the day, because of the, the green mossy rocks that we've got going on here. I specifically chose, there you go, I specific, specific, it was also top of the workshop at the same time, so maybe it was coincidence. <laughs> we'll get to that very shortly. Um, we got some little ponds. Now, these ponds will never dry up because they actually have water spawn points in them. So it's not flooding, and if you want them rid of, you are going to need a Bloody Penguin's um, uh, more beautification and terraform tools, that kind of thing. You're going to need to te you're going to need to terraform the water out of there. Those spawn points, if you want that as a dry area. But I, I like the idea of having as like a just little small wetland buildable area where it's never going to get out of hand. I like the idea. Uh, we head up alongside the river there, skipping past a bit of detailing I was going to show you and decided at the last second it'd be more interesting to show you this little town area here, which is very nice indeed. Um, okay, we've even got. Not a little, was it a fishing cottage, maybe? I'm not sure why the path goes into the water. Maybe they drag their boat down that, maybe. I, I get it, sort of. Uh, again, some splendid rock work going on around there. Nothing for me to complain about apart from just personal taste. Literally, per it's, I think it comes down to the fact the, um, the tropical map thing. Tropical maps are a little bit rich for me. Just a little bit rich. Um, but yeah, uh, I try not to let it affect me, and I have given Tropical Maps five stars for aesthetics. I have. Um, even got little swampy areas here and there, just one or two of them. And they're subtly tucked away in a way that I would say they are believable. It's a Bonbon Island. <laughs> Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> um, it, it's lovely. It's lovely. Yes, go on then. Um, could do a little bit more. I'll have to reclaim some land before I actually move on to that. Finally, a little bit of gameplay plus for those of you that uh, like the idea of taking a lot of the dummy traffic off of your roads. We have this going on here. No, I'm surprised the traffic hasn't spawned. I did test it, actually. It was one of the reasons why I had to restart the game. Um, but these do connect through to the other side. I was able to spawn traffic, so it's not broken broken. I'm just surprised that no traffic has spawned without the help of starting a city. I know it looks glitchy there. It looks like it's broken. It's not broken. I promise. I absolutely promise it was working. But yeah, that's uh, that for me is uh, it's always a plus. It takes a lot of dummy traffic off the road because it'll just cut from one side to the other there. Just be aware as soon as you... Oh, lovely, lovely river. You know me and my rivers. Yeah, just be aware that once you connect up that tunnel uh, to link one side of the strait to the other, you're going to have a lot of traffic running across the island through that one. Just just know that one in advance, yeah? Um, yeah, the, the, the river works very nice. Very, very nice. I've got no, I have no complaints about this one. This is about as good as you can really want on a map like this. We've got um, one tree just stood in the puddle there. But hey, listen, that happens. You know me. I, if it's believable, I'm happy with it. And I'm totally okay with that one. Then back to the start square, we have our asset of the day. And green it is. <laughs> literally the a green sunken train station by polygon this is a great thing i love this work I ignore the blue mantle on each side it's only because i haven't connected it up to a rail network which i'm sure would fix that no problem at all and um and we've got those little um oh that giant mobile phone ticket bending machine things that we saw on the workshop a few weeks ago um yeah we'll take a quick glance i think right at the very end of those yeah sort of like that okay Factoids, because factoids. 
uh, working on the word sunken today. Uh, apologies to any mispronunciations, there will be lots. Azero, located just beyond the city of Nizhny Novgorod, sits near Svetlaya, Svetloya Lake, which some Russians believe is the site of Kitej, a mysterious lost sunken city. So Svetloya Lake, look out for that one, um, near Azero, beyond the city of Nizhny Novgorod, which is about the only one I have any confidence in saying. <laughs> and it's probably still wrong. Green Sunken Train Station, this is lovely. Polygon, top work, and in our Creator Hall of Fame now with 100 points exactly. Who knew? Well, I did, because I tracked these things. <laughs> and the Hall of Fame is completely a fictitious thing that, well, of course, all Hall of Fames are fictitious things, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, uh, what do you think of today's map? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewers' choice top ten. Will this be one of the top ten maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the i button now in the top right corner of your screen or the link in the description. It'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple or a Patreon account. But what do I think of today's map? It's, aesthetically, it's very nice. It is very... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie about these things. I, I, it's very nice. It's not to my taste. And I think even... I, yeah, I'm fight. I'd love to give it more. I tell, do you know what? I'll give it a little bit more. I was going to go middle four. I'll go slightly above middle four. But they, as, as the best I can do. Um, maybe it's a bias against tropical. I don't know. Detailing. There's nothing wrong with it. There's plenty right with it. Could there be more excitement about some of the detailing? I think that's about the only thing. But what's there is good. So it's, look, let, I'll tell you what, let's match the aesthetics. Slightly above middle four. Gameplay potential. Perfectly good. I'm not seeing any reason to mark it slightly above middle four. But I'm not seeing any reason to mark it below slightly middle four. It's good and strong. Let's go middle, middle four. But Equa by Random Five. That's very nice. And it does remind me quite a bit of a split Bonbon Island, which means it's definitely got to get the Bonbon B seal of approval because it's, you know, anything that reminds me of my own work. I think, I think I prefer my rivers to yours. But I do like the idea of the, the straight running up the thing there, which makes your island a bit more interesting than mine. Although yours isn't strictly an island. <laughs> oh, but it's tropical. I'm in crisis. Help. If you're still here, you're part of the 20 and out elite. Use the words of the day into the comments. Score yourself some population points just for fun. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What's Map series. And it'll be a request. So it could be good. It could be very good. <laughs> it might not be. Never know. <laughs>